Hey guys, last week in writing, we read the story, The Darkest Dark, about the astronaut that was afraid of the dark when he was a kid. And then we also started talk, thinking about our personal narrative and how we are going to write our personal narrative. So at this point, you should have an idea of what you are going to write about. So remember, it is a small moment. So we have talked about, um, we have written a timeline with several important events that have happened in our life. We have talked about our dreams. We have talked about um, our passions. We've talked about things that we're afraid of. So I just want you to pick, or, and you should have already done this and, and, draw, and, to, and drawn the pictures for it, but you we're supposed to have picked one moment, one small moment in your life. So if you're writing about your favorite birthday party, pick one small moment from that. You don't have to write what happened at the beginning and then what happened after that and then what happened after that. Pick one small moment from that birthday party that you could think of lots of details on. It could be when you got your favorite present, or it could be when your family surprised you with a friend that came to your party that you haven't seen in a long time. Um, if you're writing about your new baby brother or sister, um, you could write about the first time that you were able to give them their bottle or hold them. Um, think of one small moment, one small event from your life that you could write lots and lots of details about. And that is what your personal narrative is going to be on. Now, remember our personal narrative, we're going to write it first and we're going to edit it and we're going to let other people look at it. And then you are going to type it. So for grade, you will be typing this personal narrative and turning it into me so that I can grade it. We're not doing that till the end of the week. So we'll have this whole week to get it perfected and ready to grade. So when we when we turn it in and we're ready to grade it, we're publishing it and we are we are ready for our grade for it. So today we're going to learn about transition words that help tell a story. So you are going to use your pre-planning pictures and you're going to put it all together and you're going to use these transition words. So we looked at these last week and called them linking words. Well, they're also called transition words. So all of these words, and this will be on your Schoology, are transition words that allow us, our, our, allows our story to flow smoothly and transition to tell us what happened first and then after that and then after that. So you're going to use some of these words, some of these different words in your story. Some of them might be new and, and you might have never seen before and you might not know how to use. And that's okay. You don't have to use all of them. You just use the ones that you know and that you can use to make sense in your story. Like the one likewise. That's not a word that we use regularly, and that's okay if you don't use it. But you should know what however means, and you should know what after all means, eventually, finally, um, again, last, second, there, here, in the front, in the back, Equally, similarly, you might know what that means. So these are words that we're going to transition from one thing to the other. So I want you to take out your pictures that you drew last week. And I want you to start your personal narrative writing. So this is not going to be, you should not be finished with your final copy today. You do not have to finish your whole writing today. I just want you to get started. And I want you to use 
transition words to transition from so you should be writing about what's in a, in the pictures and you're going to transition from one picture to the next one using these transition words so if you have five different pictures with details you're going to write five sentences and transition with these words with some of these words so today in your writing journal just get started on your writing you can I, I would like for you to have have written at least three sentences today about your personal narrative remember it's one event you should have drawn pictures mm -hmm. with details so I want you to start with at least two to three sentences today you do not have to have an introduction or a conclusion yet I just want you to get started with your details using transition words.